Welcome to World Breaker Cool's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Cool, and today we're looking at the Masterverse figures. I don't review these as that often, so I figured why not get them all in one go, because most of these figures are pretty old, and you guys uh, have probably seen them, so I just want to give my takes on them. Um, first, I picked up this pack, this Savage pack with uh, Orko and Beast T-Man. Uh, I think this pack was way overpriced. Uh, at $30. He has two hands. He's got an axe and a spear and all that stuff. But the problem is, it's not accurate to the show. He's much, and I'm sure you've seen it already. Okay. He should be much bigger. Um, the paint looks good on him. So, yeah. Um, he just looked not, not big enough. So, I don't really think he's worth it. Um, he wasn't. I don't even know why he's in the same two pack as Orko, considering they never even met on the show when they were both like this. Orko's a decent figure. Um, it is kind of difficult for him to stay. He falls off pretty easy, and now that I'm trying to move him around, he's not. But he's got a very good head articulation, so he's a cool figure. I do very much so like this Orko. No, no accessories for him, which is a bummer. We could have easily got rid of this axe or the Master Sword because he didn't really need that either. Um, and I don't really don't even remember using a spear, <laughs> but I do like the spear. The open hands are cool. It's just, he's not big enough. He should have been on that, that, the Skeletor buff body. So yeah, that's, that's one figure. I, I definitely think it's worth $15 just for this guy. Okay. Other than that, it's an easy pass. Picked up Stinkor today for $10 and, uh, he's a cool figure. Funny thing enough is his, this head right here is the same head as this. They just put a hole in there, so that's actually pretty cool and a good way for them to save money. I do approve of that. Good job. But with the mask on and everything, he looks really nice. Comes with an open hand and a, another glove hand, but there's nothing for him to hold. So I, I kept looking at the package like, is there more to this guy? And there just was not. So Stinkor is a cool figure. I definitely think he's worth the $10, but at 20 Dollars. I don't know if I can recommend this. It feels like he's missing one more item, but I do like the little backpack and this little chest armor here hides the fact that this is the same sculpt as this. I do like that. But, well, actually, it's not the same sculpt because this one has fur. So it hides the fact that this is a very similar sculpt, I should say. So let's keep moving. All right. And who do we have next? We have Men at Arms. And I've had this guy for a while. Okay. I've had him for a long time, actually. Um, just never reviewed them. I love the rustic look on this armor. And again, it hides the fact that he has the same body as He-Man. Um, even this leg armor, same thing. Uh, I just don't really care for these. I wish they would have gotten something more pliable um, for these. But they didn't. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, but he looks good. He's a very cool cool figure. Um, the only thing I can remember that I think I, he had an extra hand. Uh, it's been so long, I can't find anything else for him, so I, I'm hoping that's it for him. Besides his little club, this is the Men at Arms. I wish they would have given us a, a soldier mask. That would have been cool, a cool accessory, but I'm sure they'll bring that out eventually and change the colors and make you buy those. So, yeah. Moving right along, we have An Andrea. And uh, here's her little effect piece that can come off. It's a nice little addition. I like that. Uh, she has a fisted hand, a punch, a two fisted hand, excuse me. She also has somewhere, I've got some grabby hands somewhere for her. I can't find them. So I'm not gonna sleep over it. And she also has this mask. Now this mask looks really cool on her. Let me get this head off and put that mask on. You'll see what I'm talking about. She looks like she could be a bounty hunter or a completely different person with this on, right? Especially when she started hiding her face and everything. I think it's a real dope look. I'm glad they give us the soft goods because Mattel has been killing it with the soft goods. 
Now, if you look at this, tell me you can't put this on another shelf as some bounty hunter that's coming after your hero, right? That looks pretty dope. Hide a little more. Although, this part just doesn't look quite that good. So, maybe I'll have to roll it up like that or something. But, yeah. There's that. Let's get to the last one now. Last but not least is King Grayskull. And I think he looks exceptional. Um, I really, really, really like this guy. Um, he's my second favorite Masterverse behind Tila. Um, I think his scope looks really nice. He comes with some cool accessories. He's got the pimp hand. He's got a fisted hand. He's got a nice shield. And see how much paint they got on this shield compared to some of the other ones we've gotten? It's crazy. And he's got the same bulk as He-Man, but he just looks buffer. I don't know what it is. He just, Am I crazy? Let's put him next to He-Man. Why does he look buffer? I guess he doesn't. But he does. He looks like he's a buffer. I don't know why. It's crazy. Oh, well. But, um, yeah. The only other thing I don't like really with him really is this, this his head here. It's like constantly looks like it's drooping, but it's not. And I forgot. I got his other head somewhere. Let me find it. All right. Here's his other head. I don't like this head. It looks too cartoonish. This one's fine. This one's like, yo, right? It's the lips. Man, they really messed that up. Um, but I like, I do like his sword accessories. They're very nice. I like the paint on them uh, and the colors. So that's dope. And then the best part about them is this, this, this cape, man. It's got some wire in it too to make them look even more dynamic. God. Again, I'm telling you, Mattel has killed it on these soft goods. I've had more soft goods this year because of Mattel than any other year that I've been collecting. So thank you, Mattel. But um, yeah, he's dope. I mean, I can't say more else because he's still the same as he met. Huh. Folks, I'm a father. My son's playing with his uh, aunt and all you hear is screaming in the background. So apologize, but hey, got to find, find time to do reviews when you can. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quick glance on all these figures. Um, I, I will just say real quick that I think he's worth the full price. I think she probably is too, honestly, because all the soft goods. Um, Man and Arms is definitely worth the full price. I bought him too. Orko's not because he comes with that trash. He-Man. So I would not recommend uh, picking him up unless you can catch him on sale. He's on sale right now as of March 28th or 7th, whatever it is. Uh, stink or is pretty decent but not worth full price as well to me anyway and that is it so i hope you've enjoyed this quick review until next time peace and masterverse grease